This morning we're talking about stroke awareness. It's something that anyone can suffer from without warning, and we want you to know the symptoms and information that could be life-saving to you one day. Mid-Georgia Ambulance EMT Andrew Workheiser joins us now with more Good Morning. Good morning. Andrew, first tell us what is a stroke? A stroke in the simplest form, uh, the easiest way to describe it is, is just a part of the brain is not getting enough oxygen. Enough blood and oxygen is not getting uh, to a certain part of the brain, which is going to cause some damages uh, at some point. And what causes that? So what's going to cause that? Uh, believe it or not, heart disease can, can have a big impact on, on causing a stroke, but, but typically it's going to either be some sort of blockage that's not allowing the blood to get there, or it's going to be some sort of bleed out in the brain, uh, where blood's just simply going a different way. It's not getting to where it needs to be. Now, are there different types of stroke? Uh, Pretty much it's going to be hemorrhagical stroke is going to be like a bleed out or just a blockage. Okay, and we mentioned in the in the introduction of this that this can kind of happen to anyone and anywhere, so it, it doesn't di discriminate basically. Absolutely not. There, there's no age, gender, or race. Uh, it, it can happen to anyone at any time. Okay, I want to talk about the symptoms. W tell us a little bit about the symptoms of, of stroke. Uh, some symptoms, pretty typical uh, common symptoms are going to be just a horrible, horrible headache uh, that a lot of people will experience. And sometimes even before that headache, they'll experience a, a weird sort of, of ping feeling in the back of their neck and like almost like a real sound, just a ping uh, that leads to a, just the worst headache of their life. Is, is, is that why you made that face when I told you I had a headache right before yes. the show? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Now there, well, hopefully I'm, I'm not going to suffer from a stroke. <laughs> um, now, what does, th there's an acronym that mm -hmm. goes with all of this and it's FAST, yes, right? What absolutely. does FAST stand for? Uh, well, FAST, first of all, is just a, is a great acronym to have because it, it literally means fast. Things need to be handled in a, in a very fast pace, a quick manner. How come? But, uh, well, because this is very time sensitive issue. The, the, you've seen the commercials, time loss is brain loss. Uh, it, it's exactly correct. The, the more time that, that we wait and the more time that the brain does not get the oxygen that it needs, the more damage is done, which is why we get into situations where people uh, cannot come out of it because too much of the brain is damaged where they literally just cannot live. The okay. brain does not have the ability to live. So with the FAST exam, it's important because uh, with, with, a, with F, we're going to deal with facial droop. That's okay. the first sign. Uh, so a literal, a literal, just a droopage in the face, one side or the other, and it's a pool. You can, you can definitely see it. So what we would do is we would ask someone to smile okay. for us. So we would, we would look at the smile, and for her, there's obviously no droopage on either side. So it's going to be a, a pretty, for you, it's, it's not the case, but it, it's usually pretty easy to see when, when, we, when we ask someone to smile. The next is A, and that's for arms. So we would have someone hold both their arms out and close their eyes. And typically, one arm is going to have a, a slight drop. Uh, and we definitely we want them to close their eyes because nobody wants something to be wrong with them. So they, ha they might have the tendency to try and correct that, that arm and try to lift it back up. Okay. Uh, so then S is going to be for slurred speech. Um, and, and with that, we're, we're just looking for any sort of, we might have them say a phrase or, or something just simple, and or just in general, when we were talking to them the whole time that we've been with them, we're going to be able to see that that sort of that sort of issue. Okay. And then and for T is is time. It's times of the essence. We have to get things moving. We have to uh, to to fix them. And also, it's important to know how long it's been. All right. Well, thank you so much. That's Absolutely. a lot of helpful information, and we really do appreciate it. For more information on stroke, just visit strokecall911.com.